Four years ago, we bought this Greek Revival house, and it requires a lot of restoration work. One of the first big projects that we're taking on outdoors is building a wooden lattice fence. We called all of our friends to come over and do us a huge favor by helping us DIY this fence. It's gonna improve our quality of life by so much by keeping our dogs in our backyard and the deer out. We are going to build the lattice frames. They're approximately six feet tall by eight feet wide. Grab a two by eight and four by eight sheet of lattice. We're essentially going to make a lattice sandwich. Using two eight foot one by fours, sandwich the lattice between the boards and nail together with a pneumatic finish nailer. Repeat on the other side. Add the vertical sides using one by twos. You'll need to cut them to fit and nail together. It's time to add the crossbar. Measure and cut to fit Nail together. This helps hide the seam and add support. It's really important your sides are flush. Using a saw, trim off any excess. This will ensure that your frame mounts flush to your 4x4 post. To get our project started off right, we marked our property. In our county, we have to be three feet from the property line to start our fence. So we've moved in three feet, we put in a stake, and pulled a line across the property. This is gonna allow us to keep our fence nice and straight as we're going across. Now that we've marked the spot for our first post, we're gonna drill down about a foot and a half to two feet to make sure that we're below the frost line. It's really cold here, and what the frost does is it pushes the post up and out if you're not down far enough. We've dropped our post in two feet, so make sure that our post is super level. Put a post level on here, and we're gonna take a brace and go this way, and a brace and go this way. And that way we can pour in the concrete and know that we got a solid straight line from our first post. Now that we got our first post set in concrete, we're taking the second post here and we're dry fitting our frame. So everything's a bit loose. We just want to make sure that the frame fits evenly between each post. And right now we found it sits nice and tight and flush and fits in the hole great. So we can take and we can start attaching the panel and then we'll set our second post in the concrete and with the brace. We attached our panel to the first post that was set in concrete, and now we've attached it to the second post, which has not been set yet. So we've added this jack, and we've leveled everything out. The jack is on the inside because we want to be able to keep going with our fence posts. We chose Quickcrete to use with this instead of regular concrete, because this sets in 30 minutes, and we want to continue working. We finished up our fence panels and we put a nice cap on top and now I want to put a cap on top of our fence post. We're going to have to cut these off but we have to take account this little lip inside. So we made a quick little jig. That way we don't have to carry around a measuring tape to the 50,000 posts that we have to do. So you put this little jig up here and now we can make a mark and we can go from post to post to post and cut this off with a sawzall. We want to say thank you so much to all of our friends who came out here to help us build the fence and for Lowe's for sponsoring the project. We couldn't have done it without you. If you want to see what our next project is, visit us on Instagram at House of Brinson.